Aloha, you've tuned into the Hawaii Healing Network. I am your host, Christina Mitisi. Enjoy the music by Josh Merrill. He is our guest today, and we'll be interviewing him shortly. Josh to be here with us today because when I had a chance to meet Josh, I knew immediately he was one of the indigo children that we've talked about. And certainly, after we did the quantum healing hypnosis, it was confirmed. This is Josh's first time here on Earth, and he came down here to send love and light. And I really wanted him to come in and have an interview on the Hawaii Healing Network to share his journey and what his future looks like and tell us a little bit about what he does and how it is to be down here on this earth. So Josh, welcome. Thanks, it's good to be here. Josh, tell us a little bit about um, yourself. Well, I think I knew ever since I was a kid, and I remember in preschool and kindergarten being um, a little bit stressed out um, because I knew that I was uh, very different from most of the kids in my school. And it was really hard to pretend that I was um, yeah, not me. It was really a challenge, you know to try to fit in and so I lived with that for most of my uh, childhood and teenage years and I think what really got things rolling was when I was in college I um, began meditating and learning more about spirituality and um, that sent me on a journey hmm journey of learning and discovery and so after I graduated college um, I traveled the country and eventually made my way down to Peru and I was at an ayahuasca center during one of the ceremonies um, one of the participants in the ceremony gave me a really off like a really interesting look and was staring at me in horror almost <laughs> it seemed like and so I was wondering what that was about, and so after the ceremony I went and asked her what that face was all about, and she said that when she saw me, um, I was sitting there on the floor as a full uh, extraterrestrial entity, and then she asked Spirit what that meant, and Spirit told her that um, I was a star seed, and so she told me that, and I didn't know anything about star seeds or anything, but she handed me a book by um, Barbara Marciniak, um, some Palladian channelings, it was called Bringers of the Dawn. And so on my travels in Peru I read that and everything resonated so well and I understood so much about why I felt so strange on this planet and why uh, a lot of things were confusing for me. And so at, right after I finished that book I was working on an organic farm in the Sacred Valley in Peru and someone just happened to give me another book by Barbara Marciniak <laughs> and as a gift. And so I was like, well, there's some kind of message here. And so I finished that book and um, it really put, um, hmm, it was a real catalyst for this uh, awakening of my life. I know that Dolores Cannon, who we have both been trained by, um, Josh is also trained to do quantum healing hypnosis. And certainly um, I know that a lot of the beings down here that are considered volunteers or maybe extraterrestrial, as you'd like to call them, um, though I, that word just really doesn't resonate well with some people. Um, we have come down here in the bodies of humans, and it was such a blessing to be able to know that someone like Dolores Cannon could present us with a tool that we could work with to confirm that, yes, we are not from this planet, and yes, we did come down here to help. And I know it was a blessing to meet you, because immediately when I looked into Josh's eyes, and you may not be able to see that well with the video we're doing here, but we were outside and his eyes just were crystal blue. You could just see like crystals through his eyes. And I was like, oh, absolutely, indigo child, not from this earth. And um, tell us how you got into doing the work of Dolores Cannon and what drew you to that. Well, um, so, I was down in Florida, and my dad and my stepmother uh, invited me to go to a metaphysical church, um, and there was a psychic day, and so I got a, a reading 
from a man named Hans, and he um, had this ability where he can see everyone's past lives just by looking into their eyes and maybe holding their hands. And so he held my hand, he was like, started laughing. He said he's never experienced this before, but he said that I've never lived a life here on this earth. And <laughs> he just kept laughing. He's like, you're a baby here on this planet. And I didn't think it was really that funny but, <laughs> um, at the time. So I, I went home feeling like kind of weird and strange. And so fast forward uh, maybe six months or so, I was taking a energy healing workshop and I was telling the story to a woman um, in this class uh, during one of the breaks. And she said, you know, I have a book for you. And she gave me um, Keepers of the Garden um, by Dolores Cannon. And I read that and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. It makes so much sense. It was a book about um, this man who also had the same experience, never living a life here on this earth and um, the struggles that come with that. And so um, after reading her book and several others, I got really inspired to um, do this type of work too. And it's been an awesome journey ever since and I'm so grateful for it. I notice one thing that Josh, you're very well in tuned with nature and using nature for medicine. Share with us what it is that draws you into nature and using nature as medicine. Ever since I can remember, I've been super attracted to nature and um, plant medicine in particular. And um, when I was maybe 16 or 15, I started learning so much about um, plant medicines and their um, different healing abilities and uses and sometimes it got me in trouble with my parents <laughs> but um, I continued doing that and I don't know what it is that draws me to it but it just feels so good to think about plants and be with them and work with them and make medicine with them and be in nature and speak with the trees and the wind and the mountains and um, I think they just hold the keys to a greater wisdom. Lastly, is there anything you want to share with the people who are just like you? They don't feel like they're from this planet. Um, maybe they're unsure about their origins and how advice that how they can work through this and really feel into their authentic self. One of the most important things that I've learned is to not let um, the people around me affect my beliefs and my actions. And it, it was um, definitely a, a big lesson to learn because I realized that my whole life I've been affected by the people around me and their ideas and their beliefs. And I spent a year in the mountains and I just got done with that and alone, you know. And spending a year pretty much by myself really got me in touch with my authentic self and I realized that the majority of the stuff that I thought was myself was actually the uh, beliefs and ideas of those around me and so maybe it's not maybe that's a pretty extreme way to go and find the authentic self but you know to remind yourself that your truth is your truth and um, nobody can change that or take that away from you and We'll keep in touch with Josh as he goes through his journey um, down to Peru and maybe even New York. And we'll do some Skype interviews to see what he's learning and what he'll be bringing back to us in the States. Once again, thank you for watching the Hawaii Healing Network. And stay tuned for more people we interview. We'll end with another song that Josh is playing in the background. And have a wonderful evening. Aloha. Thank you. Okay.
כאב. 